All right, let's get started. So we're gonna cover the three different types of muscle tissues that are found in our body, okay? And so we have the smooth muscle tissue, we have the cardiac muscle tissue, and we have skeletal muscle, uh, excuse me, muscle tissue, okay? And it's important that we understand the difference between all three of these before we go and take the Imblex, okay? So we're gonna begin with the smooth muscle tissue. The smooth muscle tissue is non-striated, okay? And that uh, striation just means it appears striped underneath a microscope, okay? And so it is non-striated, so it appears smooth. So that should be kind of easy to remember. Smooth, non-striated, it's not striped. And it can be found in the walls of the stomach, the intestines, and the blood vessels, okay? And it is controlled by our ANS, which is our autonomic nervous system, okay? And this is controlled without conscious will. So I don't have to tell my intestines, I don't have to tell my blood vessels to actually contract, they just do it by themselves, okay? Now let's move on to cardiac muscle tissue, okay? Now this one is striated. So what it means is that it is striped underneath the microscope and it is also quite uh, quadrangular, okay? That's very important. I would make sure I knew that as well, quadrangular, okay? And it is controlled by our ANS as well, our autonomic nervous system. And that is automatic, autonomic, automatic, okay? So we don't have to tell our heart to pump, it does it by itself, okay? Now, cardiac, we also wanna make sure that it is, um, we know that it's only found in the heart, okay? Make sure you know that. And then lastly, we have skeletal muscle tissue, which is also striated underneath the microscope, okay? Now this, we can find, it's the fleshy areas of our body, it's what attaches to our skeletal uh, system, and it makes up most of our body. Now this is controlled by conscious will, by our central nervous system, okay? So I tell my muscles what to do by transmitting signals from my brain and spinal cord through my peripheral nervous system, and I, that's what is responsible for making movements. So, hopefully this helps you um, understand the three different types of muscle tissue and um, what differentiates all three of them, okay? So now real quick, I wanna do a little quiz. Let's see. I'm gonna throw up a figure, okay? And I want you to tell me, I'm gonna give you some examples of, I'm gonna explain what kind of tissue it is. You tell me which one it is, okay? So the first figure that I am showing right now, it is quadrangular, okay? And it is only found in the heart, okay? It is also controlled by the autonomic nervous system. Can you tell me what you think it is? So if you said cardiac muscle tissue, you are correct, okay? So good job. Next one. This one is non-striated, okay? It is found in our stomach, intestines, blood vessels, and it is also controlled by the autonomic nervous system. Do you know what this one is? If you said smooth muscle tissue, you are correct again, okay? And lastly, this one right here is striated, okay? It is controlled by the central nervous system. You know what that one is? Very good. It is skeletal muscle tissue, okay? So I hope this helps. If you have any questions regarding any of the muscle tissues that we covered today, or if there's anything else that you want to go over, let me know, just throw me a comment so that you can give me some ideas of what, to, uh, what videos to make next so that we're able to better prepare ourselves for the Emblex, okay? So I hope this helps. If it did, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and throw me a like, uh, I'd really appreciate it. All right, y'all have a wonderful day.